The Humboldt Kajol is a unique lead pipe and it is located in one of the most confusing locations and in this video I will show you how to get it. Hi, I'm Mo and I'm trapped in Fallout. To get your hands on this Humboldt Kajol, you will need to make your way to the Thorn. It is directly west of the strip north gate. Once you make it, what you want to do is simply go inside the manhole. Once inside, you want to head sort of southeast. So as you sort of come out of this area, go through this first door you see right in front of you and follow this platform all the way to the very end until you see sort of this doorway on your left. So go through this doorway and now follow this corridor to the very end. And again, hug the wall on the left and go through this door. And as you do that, you should then go to the north sewers. Once you're in the north sewers, from here you want to head southeast again. So sort of head in this general direction. And as you do, you will come to another large manhole that seems to be mounted on the wall. So when you sort of get to this fork, what you want to do is take the right and then go all the way down. And as you do that, you should see what looks like a manhole, but sort of on a wall. Anyway, go ahead and go into the central sewers. Now, this is where it's going to become a little bit more confusing. Now, as I make my way to the end of this fork, a quick note. This area will be populated with rats and ghouls, so you do need to make sure that you're able to take out such enemies. Now with that, as you approach the end of this fork, from here what you want to do is look to your left, so you should be looking east. And as you sort of approach this area, if you look to your northeast from here, you should see a red light. Approach this red light and on the left of this red light will be a door that should be closed. Go ahead and open this door. Inside this room on the floor, you will find an NPC called Blind Luke. If you now search his body, on him you will find a key called Luke's Find. You will need this key to go to the next section in this area. So go ahead and take the key. Now from here, what you want to do is exit the room and this time look to your left. So you should be looking east. Go to the end and at this fork, you want to head right. So you should be heading south. Now from here is pretty much all a one-way path so don't take any forks to your left or your right just sort of follow this path you sort of see on the floor to make it easy so as you sort of follow this path at the very end so the very end of this path will be some fiend enemies and they will be rather high level so you do need to be able to take them out so again as you've noticed i'm just following this path all the way to the very end i'm not taking any forks so this is really the first fork you will encounter and this is where you will see the fiends if you look to your left, what you want to do is go through this double door and this door will be guarded by the fiends. Go through the door and if you look to your left, you will see yet another door. Go through this hallway and as you do, you should see a staircase. Simply climb the staircase and just follow it all the way, hugging the wall you see on the right. And as you do that, you should see a door. This is where you will use Luke's key. So just go ahead and open the door using the key. Now, once you make it into this area, it's pretty straightforward from here. What you want to do is go to the very back of the room, hugging the wall on the left and go through that door over there. Now, while we do that, I've already taken care of the enemies in this area. There will be a number of ghouls in here, somewhere between five to around seven, one of which will be a glowing one. So you do need some relevantly good gear to be able to take these out. Once you've done that, so you simply go ahead and there will be yet another NPC on the floor. If you go ahead and search this prospector, on him you should find the Humboldt Cudgel. The Humboldt Cudgel is a little less corroded and has a T fitting. It deals an extra 4 damage and uses 3 less AP per attack. It also has 50% more HP when compared to a standard lead pipe. As already mentioned, the Humboldt Cudgel is a unique variant of a lead pipe. It has a base damage of 26 with a DPS of 72. For critical chance, it only has a value of 1 with a critical damage of 26. If you use it in VATS, it will cost you 21 AP points per action. You can repair the Kampol Hajul using standard lead pipes and it will break from full condition after it has successfully strikes 370 times. The Humboldt Cudgel is one of the few unique weapons that is worth collecting but not using due to its low damage output. If you really want a high damage melee weapon, then click on the video you see on the screen now. 